As many of you may know, some store shelves may be empty of this product, may be getting hard to get. Prices are definitely going to be going up. You need to stay tuned to this video and really pay attention because this could affect everybody out there in the whole world. There's going to be people that are going to be going hungry. Why? We have to discuss that. There's going to be people that can't afford anything anymore. And there's going to be shelves that are going to be empty. I'd highly suggest that you probably stock up on a few of these items I'm going to be talking about in this video. Just so you're aware, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And thank you for joining me today. I want people to be aware of what is taking place. Just in case you didn't catch the local news or the national news or any news. So sit back and enjoy this video. Um, don't enjoy it too much because you need to get busy doing something. And we're going to discuss that starting right now. In the tranquil fields of India and the bustling grain ports of Ukraine, a crisis is brewing that could impact dinner tables worldwide. India, the world's largest exporter of rice has recently halted its largest category of rice exports, potentially cutting the country's rice shipments by half. Meanwhile, let's go all the way across the ocean and Russia has announced it withdrew from a critical deal that would allow the exports of Ukraine grain. These two huge events could lead to a worldwide shortage of staple foods that we all depend on on a daily basis, sending ripple effects through the global food markets. The Indian government decision to impose a ban on non-Basmati white rice exports comes in the wake of a 3% rise in retail prices within a month due to a late but heavy monsoon rain causing significant damage to crops. With India accounting for more than 40% of global rice exports, this decision could inflate food prices all around the world, which have already been driven up by last year's invasion of Ukraine by Russia, and the unbelievable weather patterns that we are dealing with at this point in time. The agreement between Russia and Ukraine, brokered by Turkey and then the United Nations in July of 2022, last year, was a lifeline for global food supplies, allowing Ukraine to export its grain by sea, bypassing, of course, the Russian blockade of the country's Black Sea ports. The deal was set to expire and Russia has chose not to renew it. They're citing obstacles to the Russian ability to export its own goods and services. But when it really comes down to, it's because Ukraine has took and they bombed the bridge that connects Crimea with Russia. And in return, Russia now is bombing Odessa, which is the port city and all the grain silos. So basically now they're going after all the food that helps feed the rest of the world. These impacts and decisions could be far reaching. Ukraine accounts for 10% of the world wheat market, 15% of the corn market, and 13% of the barley market. It is also a key global player in the market of sunflower oil also. The FAO and the UN body has warned that as many as 47 million people could be pushed into acute food insecurity because of just this war. For billions of people worldwide who rely on rice and grains as direct staples, this news is very concerning. But here's a few steps that we all can do to prepare for the potential food shortages on these certain items. One of the most effective strategies is to diversify your diet. If rice and grains are staples in your meals, Consider incorporating other grains like maybe wheat or barley, uh, oats, corn. Uh, these alternatives can provide, you know, similar nutritional value and can be used in many of the other same dishes as rice and grain. The best way is to stock up, all right? If rice and grain are very critical parts of your diet and your family, 
I would consider going out and seeing if you can go to a big box store where you can buy in bulk and buy some of this stuff in bulk and put it away. And if you store it properly, you can get a very long time out of these products. But the key here is to make sure you are putting these products up properly. Another way is if you live in an area where you have local farmers, more than likely some of these local farmers may be able to help you out with some of these different commodities that you're going to be needing. So I would really look at those. Once again, we have to always fall back to, you know, make sure that whatever you are making, you're eating. Don't waste it. For a family of four, if each person is eating rice once a day, just to give you an example, you would need approximately 321 pounds of rice for a year. Now, that's a lot of rice, right? But remember, a healthy diet is a very good diet to have. Now, if you break that down, that's about 80 pounds of rice per person based on a half a cup of rice for each person per day. We have to really remember, folks, that some of the stuff that is going on around the world really does affect us. And what we do today is going to be the difference between being able to survive and provide for our families and not. Everybody is going to be fighting for what grains and rice that are out there. All these countries, it's going to go to the highest bidder. And once it does get to, say, our country or your country where you live, the question is, is it a staple that you're going to be able to afford to be put up for you and your family to survive through any type of a situation that could be upon us? And Lord knows, there's a lot of them. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd highly suggest people start really looking into putting up a little bit of these products. Because in the end, you may not even be able to afford if it's on the shelf. A 20-pound bag of rice at Walmart right now is $11.34. Think about it. What happens if that doubles or triples? Can you afford it? Till next time, catch you all on the flip side.